So I've got to cook dinner today for some friends and sometimes inspiration comes from the most amazing places. So the great thing with lamb is that it's a really versatile meat and some people think it's great with just very simple things like mint sauce, which it is, but I want to do a dish today that's using lots of sort of the produce that's in season at the moment and I've got these beautiful butternut squash and pumpkin here and I'm going to grab a pumpkin and I'm going to be um, making a sort of a hummus with this. I want a bit Middle Eastern, but you can also use butternut squash. So if you see a recipe and it's asking for a butternut squash, pumpkin will do just as good. I'm really lucky that where I live in East London has got a fantastic market on Saturdays. But when I'm looking for inspiration to cook a dinner at home, I come to my favourite local deli and cafe, La Bouche, which is brilliant. And they've got some fantastic olives here, which I'm going to put into a lamb stew. But what I've also found, because the owner is French and he's actually my neighbour, he's got this beautiful um, red, French, purple garlic down here, which is just lovely. Look at this. So some of this is going to go in the lamb stew as well. I'm going to show you a great dish that's good for a dinner party because it's quite complicated and it'll impress your guests. There's a lamb and olive stew, a nutty dukkha, which is a little savoury sprinkly thing, broccoli and her couscous, and pumpkin hummus. So it's a real Middle Eastern mix of flavours and, and textures, but it comes together really well in this beautiful stew. What I'm going to use is diced boneless leg New Zealand lamb. You can use boneless neck fillets as well, just cut up into chunks. Uh, so any diced meat, I've got a leg of lamb that's been boned and I cut that up myself, but you can buy it diced from the butchers or ready to go. First of all, marinate the lamb with a little bit of garlic and some rosemary and thyme. Just roughly chop that. Not too fine, but like the garlic, it's going to be cooked for quite a while. It makes it nice and rustic if you have nice big pieces. And just a little bit of salt and freshly ground black pepper. And a little bit of olive oil is great. Give that a good mix. And then just leave that for 15 to 20 minutes. So once the lamb's marinating, heat your pan up and then slice your onions. I like to use red onions. They're a little bit sweeter and they go really well with lamb actually. So just put a bit of olive oil into the hot pan. Then add the onions. Then you want to add some cumin seeds and coriander seeds. Just throw them in on top of the onions. And a little bit of cinnamon, which might seem a little bit strange to have with lamb, but trust me, it works. In the Middle East, you get a lot of sort of exotic tagines and stuff made from old mutton and cinnamon and cloves and all sorts. So it's a lovely addition. About half a cinnamon quill. And then just give that a good stir. And you just want to caramelize the onions down. Next you want to add two strips of orange peel, use a potato peeler, try and avoid any excessive white pith. And then you want to juice it as well, and then just cook it until the orange juice is evaporated. So once the juice is evaporated, just remove the onions, put it into a heat proof bowl, and then it's time to cook the lamb. And what you want to do with this is you brown the lamb. We've already got a bit of olive oil on the lamb here, so you don't need to add any more to the pot at this stage. Once it's in there for a few seconds, just give it a stir. You want to keep it a little bit juicy and tender, but also the caramelization of the meat adds a bit of flavor. So while that's cooking, I just want to prep up a couple of carrots, just slice them thinly. Add those to the pot, 
and then add a sweet potato. Just peel the sweet potato as you would a normal potato and as it cooks in the stew it breaks down and helps thicken the sauce so you don't need to use flour in this. So just put the sweet potato into the pot with a good stir. Then add the onion mixture so it's the caramelized onions, the cumin and the coriander seeds and the orange peel and juice. Then add some soy sauce. That may seem a bit strange, but I use soy sauce a lot in my savory food. And in a way it's no different than a stock cube. It has salt in it, but you can add less salt to your recipe. And then add enough water to cover the lamb by about half an inch or so. And this is what it's gonna cook down in. And then I got those lovely olives earlier today. So I'm just gonna put those in as well. Give it a stir. So now that it's come to the boil, your lid on and into the oven.